How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be breaking down and ranking the 2022 Pittsburgh Pirates starting rotation. Now the rules for this are going to be pretty simple. We are going to be ranking each of these pitchers based on their performance in 2022, ranging from all the way at the ace level. Hey, that's pretty good. All the way through the dog water category. <laughs> This isn't peach. Which is the lowest possible option in this tier list. Leading off the video, we'll be talking about none other than Tyler Beatty. And unfortunately for him, he's gonna be the first contestant to go into the dog water category. It just wasn't a great handful of starts that he had with the Pirates. He gave up a lot of earned runs, a lot of hits, and that ballooned his whip and his ERA. Next on the list is none other than JT Brubaker. He's been around the Pirates for the last couple seasons, and this season was his best by far in a variety of different categories. We're going to be putting him at the lower echelon of the good category. In 2022, JT Brubaker pitched 28 games as well as 144 innings. In those innings, he pitched to the tune of a 4.69 ERA, 3.92 FIP, striking out 147 batters, only walking 54, and limited the amount of home runs that he gave up to 17, a career high. Next on the list is none other than Will Crow himself. Unfortunately for him, he only started one game, which was only two innings, and I can't really base this ranking off of two innings. So what we're going to do is just throw him at the very very end of the meh category. Next up is the man, the myth, the legend himself, Mitch Keller, the breakout star. He's going to be at the very top of the good category based on what he did in 2022, breaking out in a big way during his age 26 season. As a Pirates fan, you either love Mitch Keller or you hate him, but you have to admit that this season was definitely his breakout season after debuting in 2019. In 29 games started and 159 innings pitched, Mitch Keller had a 3.91 ERA, 3.88 FIP, striking out 138 batters, only walking 60, and had a whip of 1.40. Across the board, Mitch Keller is a advanced statistics skyrocketed to career highs and K percentage, walk percentage. Above all, Mitch Keller is starting to look like he's truly found himself again. After struggling for the past couple seasons, it's good to see him as confident as ever. And I can't wait to have him as number three or potential number two starter moving forward for the Pirates. Next up is Jared Eikhoff. And unfortunately for Eikhoff, he only pitched one game for the Buccos. And in that solo start, it was an absolute disaster. Sure, he struck out four batters. Unfortunately, he gave up a lot of earned runs and a lot of hits, which resulted in a very inflated ERA. So unfortunately for him, he's going to be at the top of the dog water category for this video. Next up was a pretty good surprise in Johan Oviedo. At 24 years old, Johan came to the Pittsburgh Pirates in the Jose Quintana trade with the St. Louis Cardinals. And after coming to the Pirates, he dominated in a huge way in seven games started. Hence why we are going to put him in the good category category between Mitch Keller and JT Brubaker. Next up is none other than pitching prospect Luis Ortiz. And after getting called up from Indianapolis, he actually had a pretty decent season for his rookie year. So we're going to be putting him in the meh category in front of Will Crow. Next up is none other than Jose Quintana, easily going to go into the ace category. He was pretty much the ace of the entire Pittsburgh Pirates team, really revitalized his career after struggling for multiple seasons, and he really started to shine like he did back with the Chicago White Sox. He dominated the competition in a big way and was ultimately traded to the St. Louis Cardinals alongside Chris Stratton. Next up is left-handed pitcher Dylan Peters and ultimately for Dylan Peters he didn't really do all that much in the rotation this year it was a pretty below average start for him and it's a little bit disappointing considering that he started to really shine in 2021 getting some quality starts in the rotation next up on this list is going to be Rwanda Contreras one of our top arms in the rotation he had a very solid year for the Pittsburgh Pirates he is going to go right in between Mr. Oviedo and Mitch Keller. As a starter for the Pittsburgh Pirates, in 87 and a third innings pitched, Contreras pitched to a 3.81 ERA, a 4.43 FIP, striking out 76 batters, walking 36, 
and only allowing 12 home runs all season. And I think that he's going to be a very solid number two, number three starter in this rotation moving forward, or even our future ace if he continues to develop the way that he is. Next up is Chris Stratton. He's in the same boat as Will Crow. So he's going to go at the very back end of the Met category. I can't grade him off of just two innings. Next up is going to be the first disappointing pitcher of the rotation, Zach Thompson, who was acquired in the Jacob Stallings trade. He's going to go into the disappointing category. But as a starter, things didn't really go as planned in his first official season with the Pittsburgh Pirates. His numbers weren't terrible, but in 22 games started, Zach Thompson in 102 innings pitched had a 5.19 ERA, striking out 76 batters, walking 41, and allowing 19 home runs. I'm optimistic that he can turn himself around. Next up is Dwayne Underwood Jr. He also had one start for the Pirates. I'm not going to go super in depth with Mr. Underwood Jr., but he's in the same category as Will Crow and Chris Stratton. He did have a really nice year, and I'm pretty optimistic to see what he can do moving forward with this young team. Another player that I am very disappointed in is none other than Bryce Wilson. He's going to go right behind Zach Thompson in the disappointing category. I was expecting a lot more from Bryce. I know some people don't like him as much, but I was pretty optimistic when he came here in the Richard Rodriguez trade with the Atlanta Braves a couple seasons ago. He has the potential to be a very solid arm. He is, after all, only 24 years old, and he debuted in the league at 19. Hopefully, he'll turn something around, but I just don't like where his numbers are. It could have been a lot better. And lastly, we have none other than Miguel Yahure. And even though he only pitched one start for the Pirates, I'm going to throw him in the disappointing category, unlike these three options. And there you have it. That is the 2022 Pittsburgh Pirates starting rotation rank. Let me know in the comment section down below if you agree or disagree with my takes. It feels great to be back. I can't wait to start making more content for you guys. Please consider leaving a like, commenting down below, and subscribing to the channel. And also turn on the bell for notifications. That way you won't miss any future uploads that we have on the channel. With that being said, let's go Bucks.